our world to better connect us with nature and natural systems and processes. And you talk about, you were, you were speaking about the evolution of man going back to when we were in caves and how biophilia, it, it, you know, is, it's parallel with all of that, how it really relates to that. Right. Well, we evolved as a hunter-gatherer um, culture. So for, you know, hundreds of thousands of years, we hunted and gathered. We were in nature, immersed in nature. We relied on it. We had to be... A, keenly aware of the environment around us and we and our bodies also had to know whether we had to you know uh, fight or flight so when we when we saw danger our bodies react a certain way with our hormones um our cortisol levels and and it readies us to, to run or fight and what's interesting now in this day and age often environments create that, that fight or flight response uh, due to stressors. And so one of the th ideas about biophilic design is actually creating habitats that are calming and healthier. And that's where health and well-being come into play in how we create our environments. So you were speaking, so a way that that could relate as an example, you, you brought up something, and I think I read it in one of your articles that, for example, which I keep thinking about, cavemen. Cavemen, that was a place for refuge. That was a place for them to feel safe in a cave, but yet they could see the outdoors. So tell me if I'm getting it wrong, which translates to today to why we like to be in nooks and, and nice little corners in our spaces where we feel good and enveloped, but yet we can see like a bay window is a perfect biophilic design, correct? Because you can see outside, but yet you're in this cozy space. Right, or up on a